Hello friends, welcome. In this video, let's see the Exxon, XRF and Dollar Sign RF in Alpine.js. So here we are in the Alpine.js.dev and if you scroll down to the directives, we have the Exxon, also the XRF here. So the Exxon allow you to easily run code on dispatch DOM events. And here we have an example. Let's copy this and let's paste in our project on the body. I'm going to say Paste that on and let's see. Now, if I click to this, say hi, nothing is going to happen because we need to add the X data here or put this button inside uh, an element with X data. If I click now, yeah, as you can see, it's working. As I said, we can pass also remove this and just add the section. And in this section, I'm going to say X data like this. And, and uh, wrap the button with a section, which has the X data here. And now it's going to work again. Okay, let's add another example with uh, X on. So here I'm going to say, a section and in this section I'm going to add the X data which is going to be input with double quotes and call the braces and here I'm going to say the is open to be initially of false and now inside here in the flowby.com I want to copy this drop down. So let's copy this and paste it here. Now if I save and let's open the project, we have the drop down, but if I click, nothing is going to happen. And let's make this work with uh, Alpine.js. So first I'm going to remove this drop down menu. Here is the drop down menu and we can see we have the hidden class because it's using the, the typing CSS. If I remove that, yeah, here we have. But I want to show and hide this based on the is open state. So in this div, I'm going to add the X show we learned in the previous video. And this is going to be shown only if the X open, the is open is true. Now is hide. When we click now to this button, let's remove this. I want to change the is open state from false to be true. And when we click again, to be false. So the same thing we did in the previous video. And let's use now the X on, but if you go here, we have also the shorthand syntax instead of just, instead of X dash on colon, we can use at, as you can see. So let's use that, at click. I'm going to say here, the is open is going to be equal with the opposite of is open is right now. So when is open is uh, false, it's going to be true and vice versa. We'll go here and refresh. If I click, it's show, click hide and so on. Also, I want when I click outside of this to close the menu. Now, if we search for the outside, or let's say, yeah, listen for a click outside here. Here we have an example. We add uh, on click at click dot outside modifier. And let's do that in the X in this div, which is the idea of drop down. Let's say on click dot outside. I'm going to say the is open to be false. Now, if I save this and come here, open, close, open. Now, if I click outside, it's going to close. Very good. Let's see again also the xref. Now, xref in combination with dollar sign ref is a useful 
useful utility for easily accessing DOM elements directly. So it's most useful as a replacement for APIs like get element by ID and query selector. So let's copy this example here and paste in our code. I'm going to add that section and paste that in. And if I save, it's not going to work again because as I said, we need to pass the X data in order to work the Alpine.js. Now, if I click here, yeah, it's going to remove. Let's do another example. I'm going to add section and first let's close and in this section, I'm going to scroll down when we have the forms text area and what I want to do is kind of a Twitter allowing just to put uh, maybe a 100 characters in the message. So let's paste that in first and let's save and let's see. Yeah, here we have. Now down there, I want to display how many characters we have left. And for that first in this section, I'm going to add the X data, which is going to be equal with double quotes. And I'm going to add an object with a max length how many characters we want and let's say to be 100. Okay, down there, I'm going to say the span and here, let's say uh, x text, which is going to be equal to with max length. And I'm going to concatenate and say I'm going to add a space here, as you can see, characters remaining. And let's close this and let's save. As you can see, now we have 100 characters remaining here. Good, but if I type something, nothing happened. When I type, I want to remove from 100 and display how many characters we have. To do that, we can say here on this X, on this text area, we can use that uh, XRF and the dollar sign ref. So let's say first X ref, and I'm going to add the reference as a message. And then I'm going to use the key up. So let's say key up which is going to be equal with now the max length is going to be equal with 100. I'm going to remove now from 100 because 100 we have here. How many characters we have inside of this text and how we can get that by using the dollar sign refs dot and accessing this message. Now I'm going to access the value of the message and the length, how many characters we have. If I save now and let's come here, refresh. Yeah, we have 100 characters, but if I type something, it's going to remove, as you can see. So with the dollar sign ref dot message, we get this text area value and then the length. I hope you enjoy friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.